Whether you like it or not, disc brakes are here to stay when it comes to road bikes, but what are they and how do they actually work? There are two main types of disc brakes, mechanical and hydraulic. Mechanical disc brakes are cable actuated, relying on a cable attached to the brake levers to activate the braking in a similar way to rim brakes. Hydraulic disc brakes do away with the cable and use hydraulic fluid in a fully sealed line. When you brake, increased pressure is applied to the caliper, which presses the pads against the disc. A disc brake consists of a metal disc or rotor attached to the front and rear wheel hubs. Calipers are attached to the frame or fork. The calipers contain pistons which sit either side of the disc behind the brake pads. The calipers are attached to the brake levers by the brake lines. When you brake, pressure is applied to the pistons which engages the pads around the disc. As the pads drag against the disc, the wheel, and therefore the bike, is slowed as kinetic energy or motion is transformed into thermal energy or heat. Simple. Most discs or rotors are made of high quality stainless steel and range in diameter from 140mm up to 180 for most road and gravel bikes. There are holes in the disc so that water and other debris can get out from under the brake pads. So that's how disc brakes work, but why are they so popular? Well, there's a few reasons. Disc brakes work well in all weather conditions. The braking surface is further from the ground than rim brakes, the calipers are better protected, and the holes in the disc better displace water. Stopping power is greater than rim brakes thanks to the calipers, which can be made very stiff indeed, and the fact that a disc is much smaller than the rim on a bicycle wheel, which means disc brakes bite earlier, giving more braking power during the initial application of the brake. Braking is also more consistent with disc brakes. This increased control, or so-called better modulation, means you can be sure of the resultant braking power you'll get from each pull of the brake lever. There are also some downsides to disc brakes though. Disc brakes add a braking surface via a separate disc. This adds weight compared to bikes fitted with rim brakes. Disc brakes use a different hub compared to standard rim brake wheels, which means you'll need to invest in a new set of wheels if you're ready to take the leap. And what about good old-fashioned looks? For many, there's just something about the simple, clean lines of rim brake bikes that looks, well, just better than the inelegant hunks of steel attached to each of your hubs. Are you a rim brake purist or a disc brake convert?